Hey guys, this is SB737, and welcome back today to a brand new series, and that is the uh, the Stampy Flat Challenge, which is what I'm uh, I'm going to be trying. And uh, yeah, this challenge was made by Stampy, uh, so uh, I'll leave his channel in the description as well as this first video. So make sure you go and check that out. He'll, uh, he'll probably explain this uh, a lot better than me and what it is if you haven't seen it. But you probably have seen what the Stampy Flat Challenge is anyway. So. I basically have got all the same settings as him, um, so if I just quickly show you, it's, uh, it's a super flat with uh, you generate structures and all of that stuff on, and then if we, uh, you can customize the super flat, and then we've got all of these different layers here, uh, which, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of thought has gone to them, and you know, I mean, I haven't come up with any of this, as I said, you know, Stampy has, so he's he's done well, he deserves all the credit, I don't I don't want to take anything for this, so make sure you do, uh, you do go and check out his, uh, his video if you haven't. And, uh, and yeah, I've uh, put it on a planes biome, and we've got all sorts of structures, and yeah, they're, exa they're exactly the same settings, um, okay, and um, yeah, I've uh, I've also put it on normal, I'm using the pl plastic texture pack, Stampy did use that one, I'm not using it because of that, I just think it is the nicest texture pack, like I like the vanilla one, but I always use the vanilla one, don't I, and uh, we've got these other ones, I don't know, I, I just, I think the, pl the plastic one's definitely my favourite one, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the, uh, the plastic texture pack. I on survival, and the difficulty is normal, and then all we gotta do is create the world, and I've never created this world before, so I have no idea what to expect, really, so this, uh, this should be interesting, shouldn't it? So here we go, uh, we're initializing the server, and uh, the world is loading up, so yeah, I get, to be honest, I get a lot, I, I get, you know, not a lot of comments, but I get, like, a few comments every day, saying, you know, people saying, you copy Stampy, you know, and I mean, a lot of these, you know, just because we both play Minecraft, we both have a world in survival, you know, that, that makes, uh, that we build stuff in, that, and I copy Stampy because of that, you know, but in this case, I, I am copying Stampy, <laughs> it's his idea, uh, as I said, so, uh, before you, uh, you trolls decide you're gonna, um, uh, you're gonna, you know, say, oh, you're copying Stampy down this. Yes, yes, I am. I'll beat you to it, okay? Uh, so uh, there's no point uh, commenting that. But anyway, <laughs> let's get into the uh, the challenge. There we are on the custom super flat. Looks very, very nice. Uh, fire spreads are offered, by the way, because we have like lakes, lava lakes. Look at that. We spawn right next to a village as well. So we've got food sorted. And I want to know what's in the bonus chest. Uh, let's have a see. So apple, uh, cactus, that could be useful. Uh, bread, oak wood, pumpkin seed sticks, and a few oak saplings. Those oak saplings are going to be important because that's how I like renewably get wood, if that makes sense. And if there's a blacksmith here, that would also be very helpful. So, in fact, I might just take these torches with me. So anyway, there are, there are going to be three challenges that uh, I have to do on this uh, in this um, on this uh, super flat challenge. So uh, the first one is uh, you have to kill the Ender Dragon. I mean, you don't have to do them in this order, but you, you, one of them is you kill the Ender Dragon. Uh, one of them is you uh, kill the Wither, and then another one is uh, to get to bedrock, which is no mean feat in itself, actually getting to bedrock. So, uh, yeah, right, hello. Have you seen? Uh, have you seen? Oh, hello. We've got we've got Fenton and his uh, his cousin. His cousins of Fenton. There's another. There's quite a lot of uh, Fenton's uh, Fentonlings. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what you got to do. You got to uh, those are the challenges uh, for the Stampy Flat Challenge. So it doesn't look like there is a uh, a blacksmith around here that I can see. Anyway, I'm just trying to have a bit of a a bit of a look. If not, uh, not to worry because it's not like it's imperative to have a blacksmith. I mean, the, I mean the thing is, villages will be quite easy to spot as well, uh, which is uh, is going to be a good thing, isn't it? Uh, so if we kind of have a look, I want to know what these uh, these lakes are. So as you can see, the the next layer is glowstone, which keeps everything nice and light as well, which is uh, is quite nice. Uh, so what what are these? Are these are these sugarcane over here? I didn't realise sugar... Have they changed how sugarcane looks in this... Uh, is that is that sugarcane? No, I think that might be a plant. Uh, well, it's gone now. <laughs> right, so I think the, the most important thing I need to do is kind of set up a farm um, and, and kind of just, yeah, get myself uh, all sorted, really. Uh, so I need to make some wooden tools as well. I'll just use the villagers' houses, I think, for, for now. Um... I uh, like to uh, to get the materials and stuff like that, and I'll, I'll stay in a villager's house, one that's empty. Uh, nobody's staying there, it's a bit small, is that one? I need a bigger one. <laughs> I think I'll have this one, I like it, it's got books. Oh no, we'll have, we'll have this one, we'll have the, uh, is it a church? I think it might be. <laughs> We're going to stay in, uh, in the church. Actually, no, I don't like, it's not very homey, is it? You know, it's just all oak. Uh, right. Here I am, deciding which one I want to stay in. Right, we'll just go in this one and, uh, and accept it, okay? It's, uh, it's a good size. I think it's uh, it's a good one. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's craft uh, a, the oak wood into planks and then make ourselves a crafting table. You see, the bonus chest was a, a good little bonus to start. Oh, this, <laughs> I forgot that's a crafting table. Isn't it? Well, if we need a second crafting table, now we've got it. Okay, that's that's the main thing, I suppose. Uh, so there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the food in there, and uh, yeah, we'll take the torches down. So we could, in theory, grow grow some pumpkins. I don't. What does it take to make pumpkin pie? Is it? Is it oh, we can even do some trading. So I also know. This is like this is Fred, isn't it? Uh, so we can get uh, emerald and uh, iron shovel. That could come in handy actually, uh, trading because. Like, when Stampy did his challenge, he, um, I don't know why I got rid of all my food, actually. I was just, just mind this. Uh, but wait, when Stampy did the challenge, he, um, 
he had to go into creative to get a, uh, a, a an egg, a, a blaze spawn egg, because you, you can't get blazes on a super flat world, basically. And uh, basically, I've just got rid of a load of uh, important wheat. Sorry, you don't look very happy, but you, it's possible to get uh, eye vendors, because that's the only way you can have eye vendors, of course, isn't it? If you if you kill um, uh, some blaze, uh, but uh, because you need uh, you need the blaze rods uh, to make uh, blaze dust powder and all that, oh, you know all that stuff basically. But yeah, if if you uh, you can trade with these villagers, you can actually trade with them, and uh, if you keep trading with them. I think the third one, so these ones, uh, with, with clerics, will actually give you an eye vendor. So, I can still, you know, get to the ender dragon without, uh, without the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the blazes. So, that's, uh, that's, that's another good thing, I suppose. That's, that's, uh, this is like how you improve the Stampy Flight Challenge, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. So, I mean, what Stampy wanted to do was possible. He, he didn't realise that, basically. That's, that's all it was. But, he, uh, he definitely put a lot of thought into it, anyway. Uh, so, uh, we've got that. I mean, some lava lakes, I'm sure, would also be useful. Um, but, I mean, these are useful because... If I like mine out all of this orange wool, uh, this will then allow the uh, the grass to spread uh, along here, and then we've got more chance of like animals spawning and stuff. But, but I think before I'm ready for that, I really need to get some uh, some iron. But maybe if I just mine out this little bit, then we'll have a little bit of a, a grassy patch, and then who knows if we can get some uh, some sheep and cows spawning, then that'll be uh, that'll be very useful, wouldn't it? So what I'll do is I'll just yeah mine out these uh, these last few blocks, and then uh, that's that. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to build my uh, my house out of out of orange wool. I want something a bit fancy. So I think once we go down a bit lower, that'll be the uh, the best thing. So what we got here? We've got we've got dirt. So which which house was mine again? <laughs> don't mind me. I've uh, I've just got a bit lost. Uh, oh, we've got some bread as well. That's that's good, isn't it? Is this is this my house then? Yeah, this is this is my house. So uh, so I don't forget. Right. So if I if I just plant some uh, some trees around the place. In fact, why am I? Should I do that, or should I just, like, mine down there and plant a tree and... No, I think it might be better if I put it on top, actually. I think that'll probably work a bit better. Let me put that back down there. I kind of like... The super... It just looks really good. It is a really cool, uh, unique way to play the game, I think, isn't it? Alright, so I do need another another bit of dirt. Uh, but if we plant those oak saplings, then that's, like, you know, renewable oak wood. So as long as we keep getting saplings back from that, uh, that is the main thing. So let's, uh, let's get a bit of dirt here. And Okay, so the next layer is glowstone. And then I sort of forget. And then it's clay. And then it's pumpkins, so we could make some pumpkins back, and then it's andesite, so then it's like, well, we can't really get much further, isn't it? But at least it's, uh, it's good to know uh, what is uh, what is down there. So we'll also put a, uh, a tree here. I mean, it's not the most organised of things, but it'll uh, it'll do. So, yeah, there's going to be all sorts of things that's going to be like abandoned mine shafts. I mean, we'll just be mining. It's the same kind of idea, just mining. It's just like there'll be more interesting layers, so... I feel like I've got off to a very uh, slow start in this one, though. <laughs> oh, we could we get cobblestone? No, I don't think we can. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to make wooden tools first, aren't we? Uh, so uh, we should have enough stuff in here. Is this your house? Is this is Fenton's house? <laughs> it's nice to see you, Fenton, in here. All uh, right. So we'll make uh, a wooden pickaxe, and then from that we can make all stone tools. So I might just have to. I might have to borrow a bit of this house. Sorry. Uh, as long as oh, if I if I I don't expose you from this, I'll patch you up. Don't worry. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> I'll patch up your house for you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I need, I don't know how much, I need, an, I want a furnace, I want a, a stone pickaxe, and maybe a stone axe as well, maybe just all stone tools would probably be enough, so if we maybe get, I don't know, 15 of these, we should be alright, I do want some armour, um, I suppose, because uh, I know iron is quite low down, so to find the, uh, the iron is going to take uh, quite a bit of, um, Quite a bit of time, isn't it? Uh, so we're, I think we'll have to, you know, at the moment just happen. I mean, leather's like an unlikely thing to go as far as armor's concerned, isn't it? So maybe if we go for uh, gold armor, I know it's not the best. I think it's durability. Well, no, in general, gold isn't great, but it's uh, it's about as good as it's. It's, it's going to be the most easiest thing to get, I think, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's basically the best chance I've got to get an armor, isn't it? Uh, so I patched up his house for <laughs> just a few orange uh, blocks, uh, fix that for him, and uh, now we'll uh, we'll get making. Uh, uh, some more tools. So, we can make ourselves a stone pickaxe. How many sticks have we got? We've still got a few sticks. Uh, we'll make a stone shovel, and then we're going to have to make a few more sticks uh, to make a stone axe. And then I think a... Uh, how many how many sticks? Oh, I can make a sword as well with those. Right, perfect. Okay, so... Now we've got all the tools we need. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of uh, this crafting table, and I'm going to make a... Uh, I'm going to put a furnace there instead. So, I mean, we don't need two crafting tables, do we? Uh, so, we'll put a, uh, a furnace... Right there, there we go. And then if I, uh, what can I, what can I smelt? You know, anything that anything that needs smelting. I don't think there really is. I just want to kind of smelt some for smelting sake. And I could use my map as well, couldn't I? Let's uh, let's have a little uh, a little look. Where are we? All right, so we're there. We can kind of see where all the uh, the little lakes are. So we should have, actually from the map we'd be able to spot uh, lava lakes. I think they'd probably be little red dots instead of um, 
this and in fact it's probably a good way we can even search for more more villages and stuff you can see it's quite a barren a barren wasteland here I mean, almost <laughs> not quite as fun to explore as a uh, a normal world but it's, it's as i said you know it makes it more of a challenge to play the game doesn't it and what what is this then what what is this block here hmm. is this is this clay it, it might be clay mightn't it let's have a little a little see it it is clay isn't it I think it's clay. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain it's clay, <laughs> uh, which, uh, which does make sense, I suppose. Uh, right, we're really uh, struggling food-wise, aren't we? I mean, I, I, what I'm doing, I have to wait for the food to grow in the village before I can really eat it. So that's what sort of what I'm, I'm waiting on at the moment. We haven't had any animals spawn yet. I mean, that's just something that's going to come in time, I think. I mean, it's good, yeah, it's good to take a bit of time to get established in this world as such. Uh, but once we, uh, we sort of get there, we'll be, uh, we'll be all right, won't we? Uh, so. Yeah, you can see this. There is some wheat that's grown, so I should probably just harvest that uh, and then, uh, yeah, leave the rest uh, for later. So we'll grab all of uh, that. Okay, that doesn't look like it's grown. I always find it difficult. On this, one thing I have noticed, yeah, on this text pack, I do find it kind of difficult uh, to tell when wheat has fully grown or not. If, if I've, I see these, I don't think these have fully grown, have they? I, I think I'm catching these. I think that one has. Yeah, that one had, but a lot of them, I think, like, that hasn't. It's hard, it's hard to see, isn't it? Is there any more that have? Like, I would have said that that's grown. Ye no, see that hadn't. Okay, right. So I'm, I'm, I'm mining these too early. Okay, that's why you've got to be a little bit uh, careful with your wheat. We'll just have to wait for it to grow. We've got some, uh, some potatoes over there though. I oh, know they're carrots, aren't they? Well, we'll get, we'll get the carrots that have uh, fully grown then. Uh, so that has grown. Uh, because otherwise, it's just really a waste of your time, isn't it? If they're, if they're not fully grown, which I did earlier, and I realised I just wasted a load of growth time for the, the plants. And we've also got some potatoes which have grown there. Oh, so we can bake potatoes are actually a really, really good food, I find. So uh, we're gonna have to get some of them. I could go fishing if I want some fish. I couldn't think of a more boring thing to uh, to put you guys through, but uh, I can still go fishing nonetheless. <laughs> it's starting to get dark as well. Oh, I need a, I need a bed. That's a great point. I've got okay. So unless until we get a sheep to spawn, <laughs> I can't I can't go to bed. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're going to be up uh, late tonight. Uh, and but the the, the thing is, uh, well maybe I should go mining at night. Maybe am I ready to go mining? I suppose I could. I mean, if I sort of try and steal a load of torch, it's a good thing I'm so close to a village. Really, I think I'm I'm kind of uh, looking that respect. And look at that. We've already had the first uh, the first tree. Uh, sprout, so uh, we can chop that down, then we'll get a load of saplings from that. We'll also get some apples as well, uh, so a bit more food, uh, which could definitely come in handy, couldn't it? And now I can cook my potatoes as well, perfect. Uh, so, look at them. Uh, we're all in here together, lads. Yeah, I'll, I'll get my own house eventually. <laughs> I'm just uh, using this one temporarily. Uh, so, if I put the um, uh, if I put the wooden pickaxe in there, that'll do for now, and then maybe some oak planks as well. It's a little bit of a shame that I only got oak saplings, so I can only really get oak wood all the time. So, they're going to all start spawning, or the mobs. I, okay, so is that a zombie straight over there? Because I do need rotten flesh to trade with the, the cleric. So, <clears throat> if I can kill some zombies, that's that's going to be a useful thing, isn't it? So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get as many of them. I mean, the, the fact is, a lot of these these uh, lakes are lighting up the area anyway, so we're probably not going to get too many things spawned. Look at that, we've got a load of animals spawned here, so that's great. No... No uh, sheep yet, but uh, it's a good start. I think... <clears throat> oh, no, I was going to say, should I get some shears? And then I can... Um, oh, what, what, I thought that was a, a sheep running, but it was a village <laughs> legging it, getting inside. Uh, but, yeah, I was saying... I won't really be able to shear any sheep, will I? Because I need I need iron to do that. So instead, I think what I'll have to do is uh, just kill the sheep, unfortunately, which I don't want to have to do because it would be good if I could, like, just shear the sheep and then have, like, a renewable source of them. Um, have I am, but I don't think I've got that choice. But anyway, we've got some, uh, we've had a good start there, haven't we, in getting uh, some food. Uh, for, well, we've got some leather as well, which I don't know exactly what we'll use the leather for, but it's probably going to come in handy. So, uh, we'll take out this zombie. It's going to get dangerous quickly down here. Uh, it's when we go near skeletons, I think that's going to be where it becomes a problem. Oh, there's a creeper in the village as well. Uh, let's uh, let's try and do that. Don't blow up. Oh, that was close. He almost did. Right, I think we might be able to take him out. There we go. Uh, it's a four hits with a stone sword. Okay, that, remember that. Uh, so, I want to see if there's any, like, nearby zombies I can just take out. We've got three rotten flesh already. So, uh, we're, doing, we're doing quite well. What, what are you doing outside? Get, get inside. Yes, that's it. <laughs> well, see, hey, let's see. Good job he went for me and not you. Uh, but it's only the zombies you really have to worry about uh, as a villager, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, oh, we'll eat that. Oh, what's it me that? It's a skeleton. Uh, see, they're, they're the problems. Uh, is that is that a witch over? I'd, do you think we could get something useful from the witch? Oh, no, it's starting to get dangerous quickly. I'm down to three hearts. Now things are starting to get a bit dangerous. I think the spiders are probably the biggest problem. So uh, we'll take them back. Maybe we can use the creeper to blow up, maybe? Uh, I just need to hold that spider back. Right, go on, blow up, blow up. Yes, perfect. 
Uh, did it did it drop me any stuff? Uh, it, okay, it dropped me. I, I got the spider eye. I don't think I got anything from the zombie though, unfortunately. <laughs> the only one I really wanted. But I think was it 40 rotten flesh to trade with that villager. So there's quite a lot of work to be done. Oh, and that villager, uh, that zombie over there has a sh uh, an iron shovel. So if we could get that off him, that would that would definitely come in handy. And we got a potato off him. I say I do like the fact in the super flat we can get so many mobs. That's certainly uh, useful. There we go. We got another another bit of uh, uh, rotten flesh from him at least. And is that going to blow up? No, okay. I picked up a bit of rotten flesh, so I'm happy enough with that. Um, so are we going to have? I mean, it's probably too dark for sheep to spawn now anyway. Um, was it was where they spawned? Is that where I wanted them to spawn? I think it was, wasn't it? Right, let's, uh, let's try and take out him. And uh, there's a spider there. Which is how my house again. Okay, it's round here. Okay, so hopefully we got a lot of saplings. Or did we just get one? I think we might have just got one. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, get back. Oh, no, I've put my shovel away. Uh, my, my sword away. That was a great idea, wasn't it? Uh, so we'll take out these. As long as nothing sneaks up behind me, I'll be okay. Otherwise, I will die. Okay, I would really love to not die in this challenge. Um, I'm not sure what the chances are of that. Looking at how things have started off, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not convinced I'll, uh, I'll manage to not die. Oh, get back inside! Oh, that's, that's stupid. Is uh, another one bites the dust, eh? Right. So, <laughs> uh, okay. I, I didn't put enough uh, stuff in there. If I put some sticks in there, maybe. We got a load of baked potatoes now, though. Uh, so we got six rotten flesh. Is that a cleric that went out? Or is he back inside? Right. Let's see. Let's see what trades you want. So, uh, you want forty rotten flesh? Or eight gold ingots. I can't really offer any of them for them. For you. You want 30. You're all rotten flesh wanters. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, so I need rotten flesh whatever. I've got six so of. It's not a bad start. It's not a bad start at all, is it? Um, okay, I should really be eating so I can actually reach him whilst I'm inside here as well. Uh, I think what I'll also do is I'll put a, a torch up here. Uh, so if we put a torch there. Because it's a bit dark in here, and last thing I want is to have mobs spawning in the, the only place to safe. This is like the whole village has come into this one room. <laughs> Do you feel safe with me? Uh, oh, I could make myself a bow. Uh, that's going to come in handy, isn't it? So let's uh, let's see. We've got four sticks. Uh, so if we craft a bow now, we've got a bow as well. That's yeah, that's definitely going to be a, a useful thing. I really want to dig down. Uh, maybe we should. Should I go in, build, start a mine from my house? I mean, it's obvious, probably not enough room to start a mine from a house, is there? Um, I mean, but it would make sense to go mining during the night. That's that's definitely uh, a thing. And look at that. We've got already. We've got so much junk. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, let's have a little uh, <clears throat> a little uh, look around. So, oh, there's a creep. Oh, I have no arrows. Well, that's not good, is it? I need to take. It. Don't blow up my house. Oh, there we go. Arrows on cue. Um, right. <laughs> Zombies, get away from the houses. Oh no, this is actually it's getting a little bit a little bit crowded. Right. Let's just. <gasps> no, 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 creeper, creeper. creeper. Oh, that was close. Okay. Right. Half the village blew up, but thankfully it blew up the, the, the zombie as well. Oh, ha one heart, one heart. Uh, just run, just run. I need to find a, a house. Okay, right. I need to get back inside. Uh, this, this, it, I could die here, guys. <laughs> oh, if that skeleton gets me. Come on, let me into the house. Let me in. Just, uh, uh, no, no, not trading. Right, right don't matter. If he dies, it doesn't matter. It's as long as I don't die. That was close, wasn't it, skeleton? <laughs> right, I, I think what I've learned... Is I'm not ready to try and take on zombies, okay? I think that if I could take anything away from that, I'm not ready to go out at night, okay? <laughs> oh man! Uh, at least as long as I don't die, I'm 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 quite satisfied with the 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 day. So it's starting. Is it starting to get day yet? Is it? Surely the night must nearly be over. I should really empty off a load of uh, stuff in this chest. I want to get to the chest, please. Thank you. Uh, so if we uh, just put a load of stuff which we we don't need, I mean, we, we, I mean, we'll keep all these things just in case. But I want to get rid of as much of uh, stuff. Oh, we got some white wool at some point. Okay, so we've got one white wool. I don't know what dropped that, uh, but uh, I've got it nonetheless. <laughs> Is there a layer of... What am I doing? Right, I'm sorry about this, guys, okay? <laughs> We're on a custom super flat. The first layer... Is... Is wool. What do we need to make a bed, guys? Hand, raise your hand. Correct. Wool. What have we got? We've got 14 pieces of wool in our inv- I'm, I'm sorry. I, you've probably been screaming at me for the last 10 minutes, haven't you? Telling me just to make a- <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. Hope you don't mind. I'm just going to do a bit of uh, a bit of renovate. So, at least at least it was good uh, good to just to see where we're at with this uh, this world. I'm going to make a bit of space. I don't want all the- I mean, as nice as these tables and chairs are, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move them out of the way, okay? Uh, just so we can uh, make a bit more room for... I mean, there's a lot of us in here, isn't there? Uh, if we put that like that, there we go. Uh, right. <laughs> I know I can't go to sleep, but it's the principle that I could have made a bed all along. <laughs> I'm there thinking, right, I need to kill some sheep to do this. Yeah, this, that's going to be important, isn't it? No, just... Uh, just... <laughs> mine some wool. 
Oh, uh, only me. Right, well, we might as well uh, try and take out some of these monsters whilst we're here. So that's that. He didn't drop me any rotten flesh. Uh, we'll take out this uh, this skeleton here. Come on, Mr. Skeleton, let's get rid of you. There we go. That's him sorted. And we've actually got some bones and uh, all sorts of little uh, stuff in there. Don't think I need much of that. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take out... Uh, this skeleton as well. There we go. I mean, arrows are always going to be a useful thing. So, I th oh, what's what's that? What's going on there? What are you guys doing in there? Get out of there! <laughs> Is that okay? We've got a creeper and a skeleton in there. He's actually the skeleton's hats off to him. Oh no! It blew me up. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, I can't believe that. I thought I was I thought he was in water, so I thought he wouldn't hurt me, but clearly it did hurt me. <laughs> right, so the target to not die is has not gone very bad. <laughs> oh man, this challenge is harder than it looks. Uh here we go. Got to be die again. This skeleton's gonna get me. Right, can I get all my stuff before the skeleton uh gets me? Oh, there's a spider getting in the mix as well. No, there's a creeper getting in the mix as well. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm glad it's daytime, alright. So I I do apologize, okay. I take full responsibility for the night's disasters, um, <laughs> for not being clever enough to uh, to make a bed. Uh, <laughs> oh, just please go away. Go away, skeleton. You're driving me crazy. Right, thank you. Right, any more creepers that are going to blow me up, just please, please stand for... I'm sorry, I know I've blown up your house, mate. I was, It was an accident. I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, completely destroyed the village. I think I think we should make a hasty uh, a hasty uh, uh, run away from the village, basically. <laughs> All right. So what did we lose? Did we lose anything particularly important, though? I don't think so. I think. Did we lose me rotten flesh? Oh, all that all that work, and I lost all my rotten flesh. By looks, unless it's in the well. Is it in the well? Um, no, <laughs> it's not. Right. Well, not to worry. Not to worry at all, because we, uh, we had a, well, we had a, oh, we got some more stuff, he's uh, scared, uh, you, do you never get tired of, of coming here to, uh, to annoy me? <laughs> oh, right, right, so, there we go, right, let's try and take out this, uh, these zombies here, let's at least get it, there we go, got a bit of rotten flesh, there's a few arrows around here, uh, it's been a tough night, hasn't it, well, let's, let's be honest, it has been a tough night, but we've, we've seen through the worst of it, and I think we've got a lot achieved, really, in this episode, I mean, we, uh, well, we, 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 I can't think of anything. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know I've, I know I've just completely destroyed the whole place. <laughs> oh, well, at least, at least once you got your, your death off the counter, I suppose it doesn't matter so much, does it? You know, now I feel like it doesn't matter if we die. Uh, we'll just, we'll just keep moving forward. Right, I need to make some, uh, some wooden planks to go in there. So, uh, I want to quickly uh, go into a mine and, uh, well, I want to go mine. I just, yeah, I just want to feel like I'm going to do some... Where are you constantly coming from, creepers? Get back. Go on, get back. That's it. Right, we can we can stop him. We can stop him. We can stop him. Okay, he, he's trampling the crops as well. Uh, uh, please, please just die. I think one more hit and we've got him. There we go. Right, so where should we start the mine? I think it should be a little bit away. I, this could be like the pathway into the mine, couldn't it? Although it's three wide. I only want a two wide one, but... Yeah, let's let's go mine in here, okay? This this shall be the start of the new, the new area, okay? So, uh, we'll dig down here, and uh, I think, uh, do we go di straight down or steps down? I, I want to say, you know, like in any Minecraft game, any, any time you go Minecraft mining, I think the, always the safest thing to do is just go uh, straight down, isn't it? I mean, uh, stairs down. Then we can get back out a bit easier, because we haven't got like any ladders or anything like that yet. So, yeah, we'll sort of build the stairs, and then we can kind of explore the layers and stuff, because it's not like it's all constantly stone and boring. It's it's uh, it's interesting layers, and I think my shovel is more effective on that, but maybe it's uh, maybe it's not. Um, I, I suppose glowstone is going to be the big way to light things up, because torches, uh, I mean, until we may get some coal, I suppose, then, then we'll be sorted that way in that respect, won't we? But on the whole, yeah, I think uh, we're going to be best using... Um, uh, uh, yeah, using glowstone to do use, as my lighting. So uh, let's uh, keep going down here anyway. So uh, we're onto the andesite layer, uh, and then I think it's I think it's diorite next, and then I think it's granite, and then yeah, so I think it goes uh, down like that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. So then I think I think this might be granite, and then yeah, moss stone, and then I, I think if I could get to the gold layer, that's probably going to be a good thing, isn't it? I mean, what are we on now? We're on chiseled uh, chiseled uh, stone. That looks like to me chiseled stone bricks. Yep, and then uh, it keeps going down. So I have got a few torches at least. Uh, so if we uh, use the uh, the bare minimum torches, I've got. See, you can see I've got glowstone dust on me, so we could even. Quite easily make some more, and I should uh, eat some food as well. How are we doing food wise? Uh, we should have. Yeah, we've got ten cooked potatoes. So. Uh, we're all right in there for that. Ten baked potatoes, I mean. Uh, so let's uh, mine out uh, these, and uh, and yeah, keep seeing seeing what. Because honestly, I I mean, I, as much as I only just set this up like 
20 minutes ago or whatever, 25 minutes ago, just before I started the episode. I can't remember what the layers are. I, I think I do remember that there's like a lot of sand layers altogether. That's that's something I do sort of remember. So what we're in now is the uh, the sand layer. Uh, so let's uh, let's mine out a load of uh, this uh, this sand here. I could use torches if I wanted to be fancy, but uh, I don't want to be fancy. And then what are we on now then? Is this, uh, what is this layer then? Uh, oh, is this, oh, this is soul sand. I can feel it, yeah, a little bit slower as well, actually, when now you come to me, now I mention it. Uh, so, yeah, this is soul sand. And then, what are we on? T the only problem we've been in the different texture packs, I can't remember what everything is. Uh, so, that's more clay by the looks of things, I'm guessing. Um, how much clay have we actually got? Uh, I don't think we've got any actually, so maybe it's maybe it was not more clay, maybe we never had clay. But anyway, the main thing is, we're on the layer of gold. Can you mine gold with a stone pickaxe? That's actually a good question. I don't think you can. So, how am I going to get gold tools without iron first? Um, and where's the... I think the iron is quite low down. I can't remember where the iron is, but <laughs> I don't think it's near though. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, that didn't drop anything. And now, now we're sort of on the ore section, aren't we? Uh, so we'll just have to mine this and then sort of keep keep going. We'll have to accept that we can't actually get any of uh, the, the the gold, though. I think that's uh, the main problem. Why did I why did I dig two down like that? I've messed up my nice tunnel now, haven't I? It was all different colours, and all organised, and now I've messed it up. Uh, so uh, I want to know what's below redstone because it could just be iron is like right around the corner, couldn't it? Okay, so it's nether quartz, and then it's melon. I've, I've kind of completely lost everything now, and then it's a sea lantern, and then it's all your your guardian stuff, and then it's water, and then it's iron. Okay, right, let's get out of there. <laughs> so, actually, we can actually get some iron now. So, uh, let's uh, let's uh, give ourselves a bit of air. This is actually going to be really annoying, I can just sit. No, wait, I've had a brilliant idea, okay? If we go like this, and then, okay, I need, I need, oh no, I need that torch. No, don't, don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me, game. I need the torch, please, thank you. Oh, oh, oh that was close, right, okay. I need to sort out my inventory at some point. Uh, <laughs> if we sort of go like this, and then sort of build myself a little a little room, and then put put that there, then then we're sorted, aren't we? We've 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 we've, we've conquered it. So what's that? Oh, that's nether quartz. Okay. Uh, so if we get the torch, and then yeah, we've got that. There we go. Now we're now we're onto the iron section. Now we're talking, aren't we? Uh, so <laughs> let's uh, let's grab some iron. Uh, I do need to sort of offload a lot of stuff. And then what have we got here? Then is that? More orange wool by the looks of things. Uh, so I'll get my torch back. Uh, I've got so much junk now from doing all this though. I, I need the rotten flakes. That's not junk, okay? <laughs> For once. Uh, what's uh, what's this? So it's oh, it's orange stained clay. Okay, so that's been a, that's good. Okay, so if we can just get a bit of iron, then at least we'll sort of have the uh, the main uh, tools that we need, if if you like. So uh, we'll put a torch down, I think here, and then uh, we, yeah, we can we can make iron. I, we can make iron armor. Basically, uh, this is actually quite a big a big thing. Oh, brilliant! I didn't think this through, did I? I didn't think oh, this is this is actually going to be really annoying. I could just I could just see it now because we're going to keep getting flooded out, aren't we? And it's it's so dark in here, and I can't really do much about it because me. To I've got it. Hey, no, I've 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 hit the nail on the head here. So, <laughs> don't know why I didn't just think of this earlier. <laughs> but if we just place glowstone down, that solves all the lighting issues, doesn't it? Okay, I don't know what this is. It's sandstone. Uh, I don't know what it is. It must, maybe it's some clay or something. I really should have been paying more attention. There we go. Now we've got lighting. If we get flooded, it doesn't matter. Ah, sorted. It was sorted. Okay, we are going to get flooded. Uh, it's a little bit annoying to uh, to mine, that's all. Uh, so, let's uh, let's have a see. So, we just pop, pop our head above water. And then if I, if I just patch that up. And packs that up. There we go. That's uh, that's our cave uh, flooding issue sorted. And then what we can do is we can just grab a little bit more of this uh, this iron here. So I'm trying to think what's the best way to get rid of water. But there, there isn't really one other than just placing down blocks in 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 place of it, is there? So uh, that's what we think we're just going to have to do to uh, to keep getting iron out. We just kind of keep uh, placing blocks in the in the way. And look at that. My melons have come through as well. Hey, eh? that's that's always nice to see. Uh, so if I uh, go like that, there we go. Now I can mine out this one and not get flooded. Uh, perfect. And then uh, we could also mine out, I think, no, I don't think this one, no, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll put some uh, some chiseled stone bricks there, there we go. And, uh, and then I kind of yeah, like the way, yeah, to get your iron, you've got to go underwater and everything. It's sort of a, a bit of a unique way to do it. Good thinking, Stampy, on this one. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll mine all of that out, and then I think we'll, we'll get out of here, okay? Oh wow, this takes ages, doesn't it? Uh, so there we go. We'll, we'll get out. Uh, so uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to swim up, I think. Uh, so let's uh, let's go for it. Here we go. Hopefully we don't drown, okay? <laughs> Famous last words. How am I actually going to get out of here now? I've just, I've just realised I haven't really done this the most, the best way, have I? Not to worry. If I sort of do a bit of, a bit of this, and then, uh, and then if we go for something like, oh no, what, what am I doing? Right, we need to go below, 
And then like that, I should really have brought some ladders or, or stuck to the stairs, the stairs fashion. But at least now we've got iron, okay? That that was an important thing to get, I think. Because uh, now if we're up late at night like we uh, like we were, we won't have that problem. And now we can just uh, go back up and, and look at these, a nice, a nice tunnels actually. <laughs> you know, they're all like staircased up. They're not, they're not all, uh, it's not like, you know, your boring stone ones and stuff. It's, uh, it's quite a, quite a, an attractive looking tunnel, isn't it? So, yeah, we've come back, we've returned, and I've <laughs> come back to the destruction. I'll, I will repair this village for you, don't worry, at some point. I'll, I'll get it uh, looking, uh, looking nice again when I get, when I get around to it. I'm very, very sorry for the destruction I brought you, villagers. <laughs> Look at this, this is terrible, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, guys, we are out of time this episode. <laughs> I don't know, did we, I feel like we, we got something achieved towards the end, at least. Uh, which, uh, yeah, made me feel uh, less bad at having a completely unproductive episode, so... Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, uh, please do make sure you leave a like. It just really shows support for the channel and it also does help me out. And also do subscribe if you're new around here for daily videos of Minecraft. And I think in the next episode, we could try and build a house maybe because I do feel bad taking... I need to move as far away from this village as possible, basically. <laughs> Because I'm not doing the villagers any good being here, am I? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just want to go in that distance. I want to see uh, what we can find. I know there's going to be... Uh, I don't know what structures we'll actually find, actually. That's a good point. Um... Yeah, I, I, it'd be interesting to want to, to find out. I, I mean, I think the only structures we can find are the underground ones. So at some point, we'll probably, you know, come across mine shafts, strongholds, all sorts of that stuff. Uh, so yeah, that should be an interesting one, shouldn't it? Um, uh, but yeah, as, as I said, guys, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.